I make it lots of bacon. <laughs> Buddy's got a hot dog. Hmm? We only like it when we think of Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 209. 200. 209. Oliver, why don't you go lay down, you motherfucker? You go lay down, motherfucker. Who's a motherfucker? Here's today's card. It's Tristan Man here to show you the card. It's not just to show you the Kamala Harris is our new president. Vote Kamala. I'm going to vote for Kamala. I'm just kidding. I would never do such a thing. But guess what? I got water in my fucking cup. (laughs) Can you hear that, Kamala? What do you know about swallowing, Kamala? Kamala, you ever swallow before? What do you ever swallow, Kamala? Kamala swallows. That's what they call her in high school, Kamala Swallows. You guys got any bags of bird ham in here? <laughs> we ran out of bird ham. Kamala's got bird ham. Jackpot. Dynamite's here. Look, I can't, I moved the camera back. I said, fuck it, dude. I want to see the table, and I want to see the shrooms. Shrooms and a table sitting on a man. Sitting on a plan. You know what, folks? This episode, there's no plan. There's no plan. Actually, there is a plan because I have a card. But there's get there's no top three podcasts this episode. I don't have any for you today. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't kill me. Okay, guys, let's do some dancing. Let's show me my moves. I have no top three because there just wasn't, there hasn't any, there hasn't been anything that's blown me away the past week. If something blows me away, I'll throw it in. And you know what? We're not doing the top three anymore. (laughs) That's just how this podcast goes. I implement new segments and I get rid of them almost instantly. You want to know why? Because we don't need a top three. We don't need a top three. All right, if there's something I want to recommend, I'll recommend it. I don't need three. I don't need to recommend three every week. Are you fucking nuts, dude? This podcast is supposed to be off the cuff fucking bonkers, and that's what it always resorts to, and that's what it's always going to be. And you can't change me, Kamala. Jackpot. Kamala Harris, more like Kamala Sherish. It doesn't even sound good. It's just the same noise on repeat. I could have did better than that. I made this video 14 years ago. What is the description? Here's what the description says. This is what I picture the perfect day is. Sunset. Birds chirping. Plane flying by. If the plane wasn't flying by, it would it wouldn't be so good. I also like on a on a nice summer day where there's no noises except for the ones you hear in the video. Ah, goo lagoon. Don't touch each other, please. This would have been better if I would have used a proper sound of a plane. Listen to it. It's just no good dude it's no good 
no plain words like that. It's a gradual, you know. I took a two second fucking clip of a of a of a of a of a of a plane and I looped it. Like an idiot, dude, but I was a child. I didn't know any better. Don't fucking fault me. You can't fault me for that. Let's go to Leonardo, see what he has to say. Plane in the sky flying slying. <laughs> That's not how you spell. Flying. Uh, sunset. In in the background. Uh, orange sky. Um, birds in the dis distance. 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 Would you generate for me, please? cost 24 fucking coins good thing i have 150 of them now i have 126 oh refreshing water it makes my lips go numb yep they sure did you little fucking rat you little you little fucking rat i want to oil you up thank you dana what does that mean? look there it is isn't that nice it's a plane with the sunset. Birds in the distance. That's too many birds. It's too many birds, dude. You see the chemtrails? I didn't ask for chemtrails, though. But I guess that's that's what you get. No, I, I like the chemtrails. We're too close, though. I should have said plane in the distance. It's a lot of birds, man. I didn't want that many birds. What's going on here? The chemtrails coming out the front of it? That's a little weird AI. This one's kind of nice. I don't know which one I like the best. Definitely not this one. This one's okay. This one's good too. Can I, uh, I'll download this and I will download this. Thank you very much. Isn't the future nice? We're living in the future, dude. That was completely free. I just got two free images for myself. And I can do whatever the fuck I want with them. Whatever the fuck I want. I'm going to do 16 by 9 from now on. And you ain't going to stop me. What does legacy mode mean? Use legacy interface. Note that settings will not persist between modes. Yeah, but that doesn't tell me what legacy mode is, brother. Everything she does is magic. You want to know how unprepared I am today? I am so unprepared that I don't even have videos. I haven't been watching... I haven't been watching the talk, but maybe that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to not be on the talk. My poopoo looks like angel hair pasta. You know? I would like to get to a point where I just don't use the talk at all. I need to go and finger me booty. But that's hard. Well, it's not hard. But because I have this podcast and it's so centered around watching TikToks all the time, I feel like I need to. Beep, boop, 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 beep. But here's the problem. Ever since I started this TikTok segment on this show, I guess that's a segment that stuck around is the TikToks. But ever since I started it, it's so hard to find something that actually genuinely makes me laugh nowadays. Hey, Harry, stop it! That was the dog. <laughs> I tell my dog to stop doing stuff a lot on this podcast, don't I? You can't keep getting away with it! You can't keep getting away with it! What were we talking about? What the fuck were we talking about? What were we talking about? Segments? TikTok. Oh, yeah. It's hard to find a fucking TikTok that makes me genuinely laugh nowadays because I see so many of them every day, constantly, nonstop, no matter what. Oliver, what the hell do you have there? What is that? My dog has found the lid for a five-gallon jug of water, and he's chewing on it. He likes it. Oliver, 
That's not a toy. You can't chew on that. That's not for dog. Hey, that's not for dog. You know that, right? So, so, so. Yeah, this is definitely one of those. <laughs> this is one of those shit episodes that there's not gonna get much. You're not gonna get much from it. The last three episodes were pretty decent. They were pretty decent. They were jam packed with some stuff at least. This one is random as fuck. Don't worry though, I did prepare a little bit. We will have some stuff to do, you know? We still have UFC 304 predictions because it's this weekend. <laughs> hmm. I watched the fucking Jake Paul fight. I had to. And you know what? I gotta be honest. It was way more exciting than Nate Diaz and Jorge Masvidal by far. The Jorge and Nate fight was fucking boring as shit, dude. So boring. Uh, I don't give a fuck what you think. You need to stop, Oliver. Go lay down right now. You please, just please lay down. Please lay down for the duration of the podcast. Would you please? Where are you going? I said go lay down. Please, I swear. You're making me seem like a bad coyote. Go lay down, please. Just go lay down. Please, I'm begging you. He gets all anxious when I do the podcast because he doesn't know what to do. He's like, you're sitting behind a desk talking into a microphone? Are you talking to me? He doesn't know what to do. He gets all confused. He's coming back now, of course. <laughs> Oliver. Oliver, go lay down, please. Please go lay down. Please, I'm begging you. From the bottom of my heart, go lay down. Just for the duration of the podcast. It won't be long, I swear. Just go lay down. Go lay down. Oh, yes. Be a good poopy. Good poopy. Very good dog. Oh, he's the best. Isn't he? <laughs> what the fuck were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Jake Paul. Um, but yeah, I wasn't watching the prelims or the early prelims leading up to it. <sighs> it's just, there's, there's too many and I just, it's not nearly as exciting as UFC. UFC is my jam and I jam it up and I love it. It's peanut butter and jam time. So I'm excited for this weekend because it's been a bit since we've seen a fucking UFC fight. I mean, it's, when was, the, when did we see one last? Like right before July 1st? Like that July 1st weekend or leading up to July 1st, whatever the fuck that was, June 28th or whatever, June 30th, June 29th. I don't know if you can hear that, but now we've got fucking Bilal and Leon and Tom Aspinall. And uh, that big black guy. What the fuck's his name? Can't remember. Blades. Curtis Blades. But there's some other good fights on there too. I'm really excited for Tom Aspinall to come back. You know? I watched him get the interim championship belt. That was my first time seeing him. Because remember, I'm still fresh into this. All right? I'm about a year or two into watching UFC consistently, but that's still pretty fresh, all right? So go ahead. Call me a casual. I don't care. Call me a casual watcher. I don't care. You don't hurt my feelings. I don't, I don't, I don't have any feelings to hurt. Not a fuck you. What do you need or nothing? Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to see him defend it and win because he's, he's not going to lose against Curtis Blades. He's going to win against Curtis Blades. All right. And then we're going to see some other heavyweight fights. And then John, when John Jones comes back in November, John Jones is going to beat the Steepinator. And then John Jones is going to fight uh, Alex Pereira eventually. And then Alex Pereira is going to take the fucking heavyweight belt because he's not going to let anyone beat him. No way, no how. And then Tom Aspinall is going to fight Alex Pereira. That's what's going to happen. Garen fucking teed. Just kidding. I don't know fucking. I don't know what I'm talking about. 
Jake Paul's certainly not going to fight uh, uh, Alex Pereira, even though he called him out. All right. He knows he can't fight him. Alex is tied with the UFC right now. He's fucking locked in for like eight more fights or some shit. At least. For the rest of his life, he's in the UFC. For the rest of his life, till he's 90 years old, he's going to be punch, 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 kick, punch. In the UFC, Dana White's got him by the chokehold, by the balls, by the throat. He's a throat goat. <laughs> what am I even talking about? You ever seen that original video of the uh, the 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 viral TikTok of the young lad who's sitting at a table with like Chinese food in front of him, and his <laughs> his girlfriend's filming him, and she's like. Who's got the best girlfriend in the world? And he looks terrified. And he's like, I do. And she's like, who bought you all this food? You did. All right, remember that one? Something like that. Uh, I have a good uh, fucking recreation of that here. And I, it made me giggle today. And when stuff makes me giggle, I like to share it with you. Because that's all I do is share giggles. And like I said, there's not a lot of things that make me giggle nowadays. So when something does make me giggle, I might as well put it on the podcast. So I'm going to shout this person out because I don't do that enough. And this person's name is Addy Love 666 The number of the beast. Uh-oh. Maybe we shouldn't watch this. The devil is on our shoulder. The devil is on our side. No, he's not. He's not on our side. He's against us. And we must fight to defeat the devil. And everything about him. Mr. Beast is the devil. Don't even get me started on that fucking topic. Because I don't even want to talk about it. But look at this image. Look at this boy. What do they got? Pork rinds? Ew, what the fuck? Pork rinds? Pretzels? And what is that? A little lemon wedge? I can't zoom in. I don't know what that yellow thing is. What's that yellow thing there? What's this? Huh? What is that? And the sandwich looks okay. Don't know what it is. Some sort of meat with lettuce, maybe some cheese. Is that what that is? A nice looking bun. He's drinking a polar seltzer and she's got a water. And he's wearing a Cabela's hat. Who has the best girlfriend ever? I do. <laughs> Who just bought you all this stuff? She did. And all this stuff? My girl. <laughs> Isn't that nice? That's kind of nice, right? That was a good recreation. Do you want to see the original? Let's see if I can find the orig original. Here we go. If I type this into here, I guess I have to type it. It won't let me. Who has the best, the nest, the best girlfriend ever? This is it right here. Who has the best girlfriend ever? I do. <laughs> Who just bought you all this stuff? She did. <laughs> and all the stuff? My girl bought all of it and I'm about to eat this and then we're gonna chow on that after. So, happy mm. Easter. Yeah, <laughs> but we're not eating at all. Just know that, cause we gotta <laughs> save some. We're not eating at all. Dude, she's fucking... He looks unbelievably terrified. Unbelievably terrified. Let's see the rest Budget of this. Budget cuts, you know? <laughs> Budget cuts. <laughs> save, save, save. Wow. You know? So we're going to scoff this stuff down. Cause, relax. Because Boo deserved it. Did he say relax? No. Boo deserved... Look how heavy she's breathing. Even though we get in our arguments sometimes. I oh. still love you, okay? I love Whoa. you, too. Yeah. I love you too, baby. Yeah, you, you better. <laughs> I just spent some money on you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. She did you see that? Like the arguments, dude. Oh yeah. That's right. His girlfriend's like a big fatty fat McFatterson. She's a big chonk. An update on this guy. That's her right there. 
Can we get the update? And that everyone on TikTok thinks he's kidnapped and being held against his will oh, by his girlfriend. Oh, he absolutely is. Who has the best girlfriend ever? I do. Who just bought you all this stuff? Am I gonna get claimed? After she posted this clip on Easter, it went viral with every- I can't even watch these videos because they all have fucking music in it and I get claimed every goddamn time. I just want to have some fun. I just want to have some fun. I'm straight. I just ate my supper and, and I'm fine. I'm healthy and I'm good. So, good night. And tell him <laughs> that I'm not trying to harm you no, or hurt you. She isn't trying to harm me or anything. <laughs> uh, I'm, this, this is my life. This is the way I live. And she still sounds so. She's can, telling him what to do. You know. Move on. He's so nervous. And I'm gonna. I'm strong. And I'm stronger than ever because of this woman right here. Yeah, and I'm right. I'm not gonna fucking be scared of anything or anyone. So I'm, I'm healthy and straight. So just have a good night. Oh, she's whispering. What? I can't hear. <laughs> what? What's she saying? What's she saying? What is she saying? Good night, people. Oh. And, and we have, well, my cash app, if you guys want to. Oh. Really promoting the cat? Maybe that's what she's, no. You know what she was whispering? She's like, tell him I don't beat your ass every night. Tell him I don't threaten to fucking take your life every goddamn night. You tell him right now. You fucking tell him. You know? If you really were concerned about it, let that guy speak for himself. I wonder what he's up to nowadays. Do you think he, uh... Who has the best girlfriend ever? Do you think he's... Peace for mankind! Do you think he's, um... Still eating Chinese food? I kind of want some Chinese food. But I'm broke as fuck right now. I have to wait till the weekend because I want to save my money for the weekend so I can get some fucking food. Whoops, shouldn't have said that. <laughs> so I can get some Asian food um. for uh, the fights, the fucking UFC fights. This might be a short episode. I still have stuff to do, but this might be a bit shorter. But that's okay. We don't fucking care around here. No one cares. No one gives a goddamn hoot nanny. You know what I'm saying? That's the good thing about doing podcasts every fucking week. Is eventually, you find your rhythm. And it doesn't matter if you don't have anything to talk about. You can make it work. You can make it work, buddy. Janice, I'm all out of water. Get me some more, please, would you? You fat bitch. You fucking slut. Janice is a slut. Janice is a slut. Everybody knows that Janice is a slut. Hey, Alexa, who is Janice? Janice Doreen Dickinson is an American model, television personality, and businesswoman. Initially notable as a model, Dickinson has been disputably described by herself as the first supermodel. I wouldn't describe her as that. I would describe her as a fat fucking cow. It's been. You guys don't even know who Janice is. Janice is my assistant. And I haven't mentioned her in a bit. I used to mention her all the time, you know, back at the old place, back at the other place that I lived at, back when I did the podcast at the other place. Why don't you say it again? At the other place. But she's been vacant, so I should bring her back. Bring her back. She deserves a little fucking loving. You know? Fat cows need loving too. Fat cows need loving. Fat cows need loving. This isn't a good eight second video. I don't know if it's good actually. I'm not even sure. Let's see. Tonight I got a tasty sandwich with uh, tomato sauce and champagne. What did he say? Tonight I got a tasty sandwich with uh, tomato sauce and champagne. What did he say? I don't know what he's saying. Or is it a girl? I don't fucking know. Tonight I got a sip of 
It's a tomato sauce. No, I got it. It's just a sandwich. Wait, 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 wait. What? Is he saying tonight I got a lettuce sandwich? No, I got it. It's just a sandwich. I don't know what's being said. Little sandwich? No, I got it. It's just a sandwich. <laughs> uh, tomato sauce. I know tomato sauce, but I don't see any tomato sauce on there. No, I got it. It's just a sandwich. I don't know what's uh, being said there. Tomato sauce and champagne. That looks disgusting. Why the fuck would you eat that with champagne? What do the comments have to say? Mike is icy. Okay, I should shout this guy out. Shout out to James Ka. Whether or not this is his page, I don't know. Tomato sauce and some pain. Oh. But what's the first half say? I'll never know. Let me see here. I want to check out this person's fucking page. Today, I got this book and cheese bananas with cheese. Those are some thick cut cheese. Marvelous. Today, I, I thought it was one of those fucking, uh, those fucking, uh, fucking, uh, fucking, uh, uh, what do you call them? Fucking Lunchables? You know, with the, you make your own pizza? Let me, let me look it up. Lunchable pizza. These fucking things. You know? Cause that's what the cheese looks like. Everyone always liked these. These like these ones, the pizza ones, were all my friends. Everyone in school loved the pizza ones the best. And don't get me wrong, they are good. You pop those bastards in the microwave, heat them up, oh, melt that cheese, get that pita bread nice and warm. Get that pepperones nice and warm. Oliver, what are you looking at? Get that fucking tomato sauce nice and warm. No, 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 you stay. You day, you lay down, lay down, lay down. But it's like, yeah, I liked them. They were good, but my favorite by far was always the, the bologna, this one. The fucking bologna cheese and crackers. I don't know why this was my favorite. This is what they look like in America, but in Canada, this is what they look like. Okay, they've got like little fucking monsters on the packages. And yeah, it's yeah. So fucking good, dude. But they're so bad for you. It's all processed bullshit. It's not even real cheese. It's not even real bologna. The crackers probably aren't even real. This is what it looks like. But there's always a Kit Kat somewhere in there. There's no Kit Kat in these ones. I don't know, dude. I like the bologna one. And I would never just take a bite out of it. I would throw the whole thing in my mouth. Because when you take a bite out of it, the cracker crumbles unbelievably. Like a fucking Nature Valley bar and it spills all over you. And it's no fun. I don't like making messes with food. So I would shove, I learned to shove the whole fucking cracker bologna cheese in my mouth at once. And I always hated when there was that one kid in class who'd be like, can I have one? Or they'd just be like, can I have a cheese? No, dude. Fuck off. If I give you a cheese, then that means I have... One less cheese for my final fucking concoction. It'll only be a cracker in Bologna. And I can't do that. I'd have to give you a full fucking ensemble. A cracker cheese bologna combo. And I don't want to give up one of them. I barely have any in the package to begin with. So you're not getting any, you fat fuck. Get your own damn food. Or tell your fucking parents to buy you one. But my parents are too poor. Well, fucking sucks to be you, you poor piece of shit. I guess that's why you're in the special ed class. 
Yeah, I guess this is a good segue. Speaking of which, as being a child, I don't know why I'm showing these. I've shown nostalgia stuff before. And this guy, I should shout this guy out. This guy's awesome. 90s kid cl- Kids Club. All right, he always shows fucking those old Canadian cartoons on from YTV and Trios and all that shit. Like, he unlocks fucking deep, deep, deep fucking memories. And I don't know where the fuck he finds this shit. But this one, you know, I'm so used to seeing these nowadays. They don't hit me hard. But this one, this fucking got me right in the gut. I barely remember this. But there's little segments of it that fucking make my mind tickle. Watch it with me. Ooh, See that, like that car cow. and that... Cat, uh, big brown cow. Who's on the case? Who's on the case? Who's on the case? Oh my god, it like, it all comes back. Buzz, I am so excited. I am so... I would have never remembered this in a thousand years but now that I see it it's just like because I just have like vague fucking memories shut up bitch of like this car like I remember seeing this car as a kid and be like oh that car is so fucking cool and that dog and that fucking bearded dragon and look the little the old YTV logo And, uh, yeah, all of it. All of it triggers my memory. Every single ounce of it. Same with this one, too. I gotta show you this one. This one will fucking tickle your brain. This one's rough. This one I barely fucking remembered. But I'll tell you what part triggered my memory. Right here, this part. I always remember him looking through the gate and wanting to play with the children, but they fucking wouldn't let him in because the sign said no dogs. And remember that little static noise in the back? That's what you would always hear on everything when you would record it on a VHS tape so you could watch it for later. You'd hear that shh. God, I miss the fucking old days. No internet, no fucking drama, no goddamn fucking transsexuals raping children. God, I miss the old days. It's, it's been, it's been. Why can't we just go back? I wanna go back, I wanna be black, I wanna go back, I wanna suck cracks. You know what I'm saying? How hard is it to just... Uh, let's 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 go let Leonardo make us a fucking throwback image. What should we do? Let's do the YTV logo. Uh, 90s theme. Let's see if it can do something with this. YTV. Let me put it in brackets. I guess Canadian TV channel. Let's see if it does anything. Let's see if it can do it. YTV bracket, Canadian TV channel bracket, logo 90s theme. Let's see what it does. Let's see if it does anything. That would be nice if it did. Beep, boop, boop, bop, boop, boop, beep. Oh my god! It didn't really? See, you know what it's doing? It's just creating a logo. Which is not what I want. It's just creating something out of thin air. It's not referencing anything. And if I would have... 
if I would have actually given it the YTV logo, it would have, uh, you know, it would have ran with it. Actually, let me see if I can do make a logo for the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. We'll do, let's do brackets, 90s theme. Um, use colors dark red, uh, light blue, light blue, purple, um, white. And is that it? Maybe a little green? Nah, we don't need any green. Let's just generate this. And then after this, we'll jump into, yeah, UFC shit. Because I want to show one little clip, and then I want to get into the predictions of who I think is going to win. And then we're going to end this shit. It's going to be a quick little fucking podcast. Maybe like around 40 minutes or something. What are we at? Well, I guess we're at 40 minutes now. Okay, so it won't be too bad then. It won't be too shabba dab ding dong Wish this fucking stu- I paid a lot of money for this arm. And it doesn't really work that well. Oh, look at these. These are nice, dude. This one's not nice. Look at this. That's fucking cool. But it- Oh, did I put two C's? No, why does this have two C's? The Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I could fix this easily if I want to use it. This is fucking cool. There's also two T's. Why is there two T's? It's not even spelled right. <laughs> it says the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. So that one's not great. This one. Look at this shit. That's fucking cool as shit, dude. It's we're, we're living in a fucking crazy time right now. I would pay good money for someone to make this. And look what they did. Is this spelled right? Dynam well, there's two E's. I could fix that though. Other than that, it's fine. This is great too. Wow. And then this is not even close. The that's a T. That's d t t n m m that's not even spelt right at all. But this is spelt right here. Not bad. Pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking cool, not gonna lie. Da 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 I might use these. That's so fucking cool, dude. <laughs> I just, I can't get over how fucking cool this is. I could literally do this all day. I could do it all day. In this fucking app, Leonardo.ai, if you haven't used it, you get free credits every fucking day. Let me see. Actually, I'm curious. I want to see what the uh, co-pilot does. How do I open it up bigger? Can I open it up bigger? <sighs> what if I just type in co-pilot? Oh my freaking god, dude. Just bring me it. Oh, here we go. Okay, make me a logo for the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. 90s theme use colors red or I guess dark red dark red purple light blue I guess more of a teal we'll say teal and white let's see if it does anything Ugh, I gotta sign in. Now I gotta fucking type it in again. Okay. Make me a logo for the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. 90s theme. 
use colors dark red, purple, teal, and white. Let me see what the copilot does. I'll try to create that. Okay, here we go. Let's see. It's too easy nowadays. Graphic designers are fucked, dude. Graphic designers are fucked. Writers are fucked. Everything. Oh my god. Look at this. This is so fucking cool, dude. It's not spelt right at all, though. <laughs> Dynamit. Dynamitito. <laughs> That's so fucking cool, but it's not even close to right. I'm downloading it anyway, because I think that's so cool. Look at this. This is cool. The, it's still not spelt right, though. The diamond is bending bend, 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 bend. Still cool as fuck. Oh. Why can't this one spell things properly? I don't understand why he can't spell it properly. He's got a gun. They spell the word the and podcast correctly, but Dynamite Gizmo, they just can't get it. You wouldn't even know. Like, at first glance, I didn't realize it's spelled wrong. This is so fucking cool, though. Look how cool that is. I have too many images now. That is so cool. Leonardo did better because they actually, for the most part, spelt it right. And I do like the cassette tape. It's a nice touch. But uh, AI is still not quite there yet with the spelling. They're going to get there. It's going to take a little bit, but they're just not there yet. All right, let's jump into some UFC shit. Uh, so as we know, 304 is this weekend. And I can't fucking wait. I'm going to get some Chinese food. I'm going to get a girlfriend to buy me the Chinese food. And I'm going to make her threaten me on camera and upload it. And it's going to be great. It's going to be a great time. But anyway, I guess there was some footage of Leon Edwards and Bilal meeting in an elevator unexpectedly I I saw this well I saw that this video existed today but I didn't check it out I wanted to surprise myself on the podcast apparently it's pretty awkward so let's watch it oh shit oh that is awkward remember the name come on boys Someone hit one. Press the button. Come on, fellas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> <laughs> 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 I swear. I just walked in. <laughs> Why is Bilal always chewing gum? That boy told. That's because your breath is off. That boy told. Your mouth is open. Yeah? No? You smell it? You smell You had the group right there, bro. You have a pack of <sighs> a Tom Aspinall's? <laughs> What's the drama? <laughs> Tom Aspinall? I wasn't expecting Tom to show up at the end there. Fuck. It is always awkward. That's the thing about fighters nowadays. They're not good at shit talking. They'll do it because they feel like they need to, which they should because it's part of it. That's what sells the fight. But they all suck at it nowadays. That's why Conor McGregor was so great in his heyday. Because he's such a good fucking shit talker. He just doesn't give a shit. Just says it and does it well. And it sucks to see where Connor's at nowadays. He was such an icon. And now he's 
fallen off so hard and he's like a he's like the villain in the UFC universe now. He's the villain. We got to see him. We got to see the rise of a hero, of a star. He was hungry, he was young. He was a savage. He was focused, he was determined. And we got to see him rise and rise and rise. And everyone loved him. But now he's fallen off so hard, no one likes him anymore. They hate him. And rightfully so. You know, just like when he fucking supposedly fired Mike Perry right after the Jake Paul fight that just happened. It's like, come on, man. Don't just fire him because he lost a fight. Whatever, man. Conor McGregor's in the past, and I'm in the future. Park in the future. Anyway, let's jump into how far into we are this. Or how far into we are this. <laughs> Does that make any sense? How far into we are we this? I like speaking English. I like speaking English. 47 minutes-ish. Good. We don't need a fucking three-hour podcast. Okay. Bom, 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 bom. Do you guys see this right here? This fight prediction card. I make these. I made this. Every every ounce of this I made. Except for taking... The only thing I didn't do was take the pictures of the fighters themselves. But everything else I made. And I guess the images of the uh, country flags. I got those off the internet as well. But other than that, I made it all. My neighbors got chihuahuas and they're barking like a dog. Barking like a dog. Barking like a dog. And I make these every uh, main event. Some fight nights. If a fight night is something I'm interested in, I'll make one for a fight night. But mostly, or always, for every main numbered fight, I make these and I upload these to a Google Drive. So if you want this, the link is in the description. You can download this. Print it off. Print off several copies. Hand them out. You know, bring your friends over for a fight night. Print this off. Have fun with each other. Fucking predict some fights together. I made it easy. And I've improved it each time. All right? I've added... uh, Not only do I have the country flag up here... With the rank, I also wrote the actual country along the side here in case you don't know what the flag represents. I write the odds, favorite and underdog. I also write their fight record underneath it, their names, the bout, and the number in which they will be fighting. Uh, So I have the, so, and I've also updated it. I used to just do the full sheet itself. Whoops like this okay so you got the early prelims prelims and then the main card but now what I've done is I've also segmented them into just uh, early prelims prelims and the main card all by itself so if you'd rather just you know maybe you just want to vote on the main card you've got that here maybe you just want to vote on the prelims you've got that here or maybe you skipped past the prelims and you want to start on the early on the, or maybe you skip past the early prelims and you want to start on the prelims just you know you can just go to that it doesn't matter i've segmented them so you can download all four copies of these in that google drive okay but right now we're going to do uh, my my fight predictions like we do and we see how accurate i am And then in the next episode, I'll tell you if I was close or if I was far. Okay? All right, so the first fight, we have Bukakis versus Pracino. Now, now if I'm looking at these early prelims here, I still don't know who anyone is. I think I might know who this Rodriguez guy is. But other than that, I don't think I know anyone else. So for the, the first fight on the early prelims... My initial thought was to go for Bukakis because his name sounds like Bukaki. <laughs> but something's telling me that 
Pacino's gonna take it. I smell something fishy. But no, I'm going, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Bukakis. That was my initial gut instinct, and I guess it wasn't really a gut instinct because it's just because of the fact that his name is Bukaki. Uh, Bannon versus Oliveira. We got a, an Irish woman versus a Brazilian woman. Now, you, generally speaking, you want to go for the Brazilians, but this Bannon chick's kind of hot looking, isn't she? You know, I'd lick her taint. She is the underdog. And it's hard to go against a Brazilian. And you don't just want to vote for a girl just because she's hot. So I think I'm going to go for Oliveira. As much as I want Bannon. Ah, but they're in, they're in fucking the UK, though. You know? They're over there with the Irish gentleman. Should I? Ah, maybe I should vote for the Irish bitch. You know what? Let's do it. Bannon it is nothing's on the line you know it's not like we're actually gonna lose anything okay Patterson versus Crosby a fucking UK boy versus the Ireland boy hmm Crosby's the underdog uh the Patterson fellow looks awfully skinny but what do I that means nothing right I don't know should I just keep voting for the Irish? Just keep the Irish flag going? Let Crosby take her? Crosby looks like a mean boy. But they are fighting in the UK, so this guy has to represent. So he's going to be more determined to win. So I don't know, fellas. I don't know. <sighs> I just got to pick something. I'm going for Crosby. I just want to, you know... And then Rod Rodriguez and Leroy Duncan. I'm going with Rodriguez, just because he he's speaking my name. Elliot versus Parsons again. Someone from Wales and someone from the U.S. <sighs> you you want to you want to go for the Wales guy because they're representing their area, but I don't know, brother. I don't know, ham sashes. But then the U.S. guy is the favorite. Ah, Shabadi, Shabada. Yeah, I'm going for Parsons. I'm going to switch it up a bit. Parsons it is. Okay. Now we're going to go to the prelims. Parkin versus Brzezinski. This guy looks like he's going to take it. I don't care if he's an underdog. I'm taking him. Loran versus Tavris. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's an Irish lad. Let's give him a, let's give him a good check. Why not? McCain versus Brazil. You got to go for McCain. She's Patty's girl. And Patty's on this card as well. We got to go for them both. So McCain's taking this one. Wood versus Pine or Panetta. Is that how you say it? Ah, uh, Wood. Wood versus Pine. Pine Wood. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. What do you think, fellas? I'm going for the Pine. I'm going for the Pine Meister. You know how it is. All right, main card. This is what we're all looking for. Don't know who these guys are. I really don't. Uh, I don't know this Allen guy is speaking to me, so I'm going to go for him. Kape versus Mokayev. Mokayev? This is a tough one because I think I've seen these guys before. Or at least one of them. Or maybe I've seen them both. I don't know. I'm going for, man, I'm going for this Makayev guy. Whoops. Don't know why, I just am. Oh, it's not going to let me, is it? Oh, I fucked this one up. Hold on, I got to fix this. Dude, there we go. All right. Now, Pimblet versus Green. Bobby Green changed his name to King Green. Isn't that weird as fuck? But I'm going for Pimblet, and I, you know, I, I didn't even realize that fucking Patty's not ranked yet. I thought he would have been ranked by now, you know, but I guess not. Maybe after this fight he will be. He would have to be, 
because Bobby Green's 15, so if he beats Bobby, he'll fucking slip on in there. Okay, Aspinall versus Blades. We know Aspinall's taking it. Come on, dude. If Blades takes this, I'm going to be so pissed. I'll be more pissed than Leon losing to Muhammad. All right? Whoops. Which I don't want to happen. So I'm going to also vote for Edwards. Leon Edwards. Okay, how does that look? Does that tickle your fancy? I think it tickles mine. We've covered everything, guys and gals, ladies and gents. How far into this are we? Boom, like almost an hour, 57 minutes. <sighs> I'm dreaming of a white. Who's watching the fight this weekend? Not a fuck you. What do you need or nothing? I'm getting to that point where I'm starting to drain. Feet cheap, boys. Feet cheap, boys. Okay. Well, guess what, folks? That's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. You know how it is. You know what the fuck's going on around right here. <laughs> you know what the fuck's going on. That's it. I'll see you in the next one. Absolutely. Bye-bye.